Yes, I know my haircut is extremely short. The lady f me up, all right? So I do apologize for that. Been bothering me. Been janking on my own haircut. I mean, I guess it's not, it's not atrocious, but it's definitely shorter than I wanted, all right? I explained to her how I wanted to cut, and she didn't do it correctly. So I'm just getting that out of the way. I know it looks awful, all right? However, guys, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. I have a story time for you guys, and I think the only story time we've ever done is maybe the 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 explanation of the Brad meme or the Brad inside joke or the Brad thing that happens here on the channel. I think that's the only story time that we've really done before. So today, guys, we have another story time, and it is an epic one. It is a great one, and it is about the time that me and my brother met The Undertaker, and I gotta say, it is a magical tale. It is fantastic, and it is epic. I don't think I've ever told this story, so buckle the hell up, Bradley. So to give you guys a little bit of a context and just kind of give you guys the heads up and how this thing went, I do believe that it was the summer of 2002 or 2003. I cannot remember the exact date. I'm sure if I digged a little bit deeper or if I get, you know, dove into the files a little bit more, I probably could find the exact date. But it's a random summer day. Me and Brad are just chilling at the house. And we got a call from our grandmother, my mama. She lives across the street from us. So I think she was at the local Walmart or something like that. She calls us up, right? Tells my dad or my mom. I want to say it was my dad. She calls him up and she says, hey, get the boys down here. The Undertaker is at the local Walmart. The Undertaker is is at the local Walmart in Alabama. Not an event, not a wrestling show, not a WWE live event, not a, you know, he's not at the BJCC in Birmingham, Alabama, like doing a signing or anything like that, man. This is at your local Walmart. The Undertaker's there. So my dad comes in. He says, boys, load them up. We're going to go to the Walmart and we're going to meet the Undertaker. So what do we do, Brad? We get in the car, but before we get in the car, I have to set the tone for who all was with me. So it was me, my brother, a wee MDT, very handsome young fella, striking. He had a little something special going on there, young man. It was me and one of my best friends ever, Lane. So Lane was with me. Not gonna plug his image in there because I would be against privacy issues and all that BS. But my friend Lane was with me. We we grew up watching wrestling together. We were always on top of things. A lot of my friends actually were pretty into wrestling. It was pretty nice growing up. Like they, they, nowadays, I maybe have one or two friends that watch wrestling and most of my friends now are online or in this community but that's besides the point anyways getting back into the story me lane my brother my dad we get up we get into his silverado white silverado we drive down the road it was a custom silverado by the way low rider i know yeah early 2000s man very great time we bump up to our local walmart we get out of the car we slam the door we walk down the parking lot we go into this thing and i remember it clear as day just you know how you have both sides of your walmart entrance well, we go into the left side, we walk through the entrance, we get just past the first few scanner aisles or the checkout lines, and I look up Brad, and I see this long AF table. There's multiple tables set up. I think there's like three or four tables there, and there is the man himself, the Phenom. Big evil around this time. American badass, in the flesh, Undertaker himself at the Walmart. Do you want to see what this man looked like? Me, my brother, all of us there. Obviously not not my parents or my dad. My dad's, uh, I'm, I'm sure he didn't think that it was the actual Undertaker. But me and my dumbass idiot brother and my idiot friend Lane thought this man was the Undertaker. This man traveled around the southeast to different Walmarts and different locations, posing as the Undertaker, signing autographs, and making belts. And you're probably like, oh, making championship belts? No, Brad, making leather belts with inscriptions on them or like little custom things. I don't know. In the early 2000s, there were these popular belts that people would get that had like their name printed in it. You know, they'd put your name in it. They'd put a cool design in it. They'd put like bucks and deers and little stars and stripes and all kinds of different stuff on there. The damn guy was a belt maker, man. He was a belt maker. And he had on this Hawaiian t-shirt with motorcycles all over it, blue jeans. I will say he had a nice little goatee going. He had his hair slicked back. I want to say he had the braided ponytail. I'm pretty sure he did. I'm not going to lie to you, he had likeness to The Undertaker. But what idiot in their right mind would think that The Undertaker would be traveling around and just, he's he's freaking challenging for the WWE Championship on, on freaking Monday night. And then a couple days later, there he is at my local Walmart making belts and signing autographs. On top of this, this 
man had zero tattoos on him. No tattoos on the arms. So in my idiot kid brain, I think, oh my god, what does he, does he just apply those tattoos every night before he goes and wrestles? He goes and sweats and stuff and the tattoos just don't fall off? What a dumbass idiot kid. What, what are we doing? So this man's sitting there making belts. He signed our belts. He signed my brother's hat. We still have the hat to this day. It was a Jeff Gordon hat with camouflage on it. I'll plug in pictures of said hat. I think on the other side of the hat, uh, Lita's autograph was there as well because we actually did meet Lita. That was a real thing. I did meet Lita back in 2002 or 2003 at a World of Wheels event at the BJCC. It was official. She was there in the flesh. That was a real thing. I got a t-shirt autograph. Very stupid. And then it kind of faded and then my dumbass went over it with my own Sharpie to bolden it a little bit more. Completely ruining it. But what a jackass. But there was The Undertaker at the Walmart. And you're probably wondering how could you fall for this and all these things, which I do agree with. But to be fair, he had this little like tote underneath. And at the time, I think The Undertaker was married to Sarah. And he had a woman there with him that was probably his wife for real. And he called her Sarah. I want to say that I don't think he had a Sarah tattoo on his neck, but I, I, for some reason, I want to say he did. He, pro he probably didn't, to be honest with you. But he had this tote full of like custom Undertaker belts. He had like this leather strapped one, like really nice. Obviously, the pictures I'm plugging in aren't the same, but it was kind of like that, you know, like a memorabilia Undertaker belt. He had like plaques with the Undertaker's picture on it from around that time. It looked very official. They were all autographed. He was probably just an Undertaker super fan that kind of looked like the Undertaker, and he would go around these Walmarts making these belts, pretending to be the Undertaker and all this thing. And I'm pretty sure that if it was really the Undertaker, the line would have been out the freaking, out the whole damn place. Wasn't a big line. And his signature, while it kind of favors the Undertaker signature, it's it doesn't really look like the Undertaker signature, man. If you compare it from around that time, I mean, I guess it's decently close, but it's not that good, man. And we're just idiots. We were such idiots. Like, I remember, like, being very skeptical, but I wanted to believe it so bad. I remember asking him if he was Kane's actual brother. I was like, are you and Kane actual actual brothers? Like, what, what is that? What are you doing? That's not the Undertaker, man. That's just an older guy trying to earn a decent living pretending to be the Undertaker. And you freaking took it. And I wore that belt. It had my name on it. It looked all good. It was a very nice belt. I know my brother wore that belt for years. Years he wore that belt. We look back on that and we laugh to this day. That is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life, man. We met The Undertaker at a Walmart selling belts. My dad rags on us all the time. It's but it's a family inside joke now where we, we pretty much talk about how we met The Undertaker that one day, that one summer, 2003, 2002, one of those years, and we went into the local Walmart, met The Undertaker. Didn't even have tattoos on, you jackass. He did, That's not The Undertaker. He did favor him a little bit, but he didn't even, I don't know, man. What were we doing? What were we doing, man? I don't even I don't even know, man. It was crazy, though. I'm not going to lie to you. It was a great memory. I need to ask Lane about that. Honestly, I would love to see if he had any pictures or his autograph stuff from that time period anyway. But God in heaven, man. What a freaking time. I hate that that's the literal only image that I have of the guy, at least that I could find. I'll try my best to find some other photos if I can, or maybe Lane has some or something. And if it does, I'll definitely plug it in another video. But yeah, if anybody out there, I know this is a long long shot, but if anybody out there had the, did you meet this guy too? Did he go to any other cities or any other states and pose as the Undertaker? Please, God, tell me somebody else has a story that can give me some more information, if that's possible, but this man was pretending to be the Undertaker, walking around the Southeast, just taking people's money and acting like the Undertaker. Like, I know it was all fun and games. It's like, oh yeah, the kids think they meet Undertaker, and it's this thing, and you know, just gets them excited for a little bit. Kind of like a little Santa Claus surprise, or you know, when you take your younger kids to something, but come on, man. What are we doing? Anyways, had to tell you the story time about meeting the Undertaker at Walmart. Undertaker, more like Underfaker. We met the Underfaker. Ain't no damn Undertaker. He wasn't even 6'10 or 6'11. I think he sat down the whole time, but again, man, it seemed really legit at the time, but it cl it's clear as day it wasn't the Undertaker. Like, I thought he put the tattoos on before every single pay-per-view and match, and they just looked the same every single time. They looked that official. They never fell off during matches. What a dumbass. 
Yes. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this story time with MDT. What a time. Again, man, if anybody has any information on this guy or, or like a story similar or fake wrestler like interactions, man, I'd love to hear about him down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below about the under faker. And until next time, man, don't cross the line like the freaking under faker. You cross